What is going on guys, it's Brandon Jay, and today I have a really exciting video for you guys. As you guys know, I'm in Columbus, Georgia on the Chattahoochee River right now. I just got back from a big tour I did through Texas, and me and Jake basically came out here the other day, got to finally search for some river treasure out here. It's been flooded, it's been rainy, it's been muddy, and so the river is finally back to the good river that we remember, so we're able to dive and actually find treasure. One of my favorite things about this place though is the ecosystem. There are so many fish, it's just so full of life, man. There's so much happening under the water that the people in the city don't really even know is going on. So just the other day when Jake and I came out here, we noticed all of the giant flathead catfish are back. And they are back with a vengeance, man. There are so many. And we saw the biggest one we had ever seen yesterday, which was probably 60 to 70 pounds. I've honestly never seen a fish this big underwater. So as usual, when I dive down, I'm gonna pick up all the trash that I see and show you all the treasure that I find at the end of the video. However, the scope of today's video is a little bit different. I never really tried anything like this before, but I wanted to come out and see if I could do it today. I'm gonna be diving by myself. I have my scuba tank, I have my fins and goggles. I'm gonna be going down where all of the giant flathead catfish are in the big caves underwater. I'm gonna be going in, holding my breath, being real stealthy, and see just how close I can get to them. Normally, they will let you pet them, they'll let you kind of grab them, hold on to them. I have no idea if this is gonna be a success or a failure, but it's something I really wanted to try. With that being said, we're gonna go ahead and hop in with the scuba tank. I've got my jet ski tied off right here on the island. We're gonna go down and see if we can get real close to these catfish, pet them, grab them, and hand feed them. Also, really quick plug, I am gonna be wearing my traditional jig and camo trunks. I got them right here, which are available at jigmajorn.com. I actually chose to wear these because it does help me blend into the river a little bit better. And I think I can use any bit of help to camouflage myself from these catfish as possible. So uh, if you guys are looking to do something like this and you want to be camouflaged, you can get my trunks at jigmajorn.com or anything else. I got a lot of merch there, uh, just like this brand new camo hat I got. All right, let's get in the water. guys so I just got out of the water and oh my gosh I I'm pretty sure you guys could see that obviously I don't know how the GoPro footage is down there but I had a fish locked up in the rocks and it was a flathead and it was a pretty good one and at first I thought he had like a, a hook in him because I saw fishing line but it was just tangled up in the rock because I thought it'd be so cool to grab the fishing line and like pull him out by that but he was down there, I was petting him, he couldn't get out because I had my hand like blocked and I was just kind of like keeping him corralled behind that rock. 
and he was a chiller man he was just chilling but uh the more i started to like try to grab him the more he started to grunt which i had never really heard that before it was just like a doom 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 with his gills and so it was a little bit scary but um i just kept at it and i was honestly a little scared to grab him because the gloves i have are such thin like latex gloves i'm not trying to like grab them and get them out of the hole and bring them up on land i just thought it'd be fun to just kind of play with them a little bit um, so I'm not noodling or anything like that, but I'm just petting them and seeing what all they'll let me do while I'm down there. I did see a few other big flatheads. The water is not as good visibility wise as it was the other day. Um, but right now I'm about to head to the next spot where the biggins are. Like the big boys stay here. So I'm going to go down and uh, if I was scared to grab that little bit medium sized one, I'm going to be terrified to grab these big ones. But uh, we're going to go in and see if we can find the mother load of flatheads. All right, so I'm out of the water again, and uh, we're getting a little tactical now. We are going to be going to a completely different spot. Back there is cut bait where I was diving. Those two spots there, uh, a little bit of action, but water's a little bit murkier than I want, so the fish uh, can kind of sense me before I can see them. So they're taking off, and I can hear them uh, when, they, when their bodies hit the rocks because they're so muscular, just like, just like sounds like a drum underwater. And I can tell they're taking off. However, now we are at the last spot we're gonna dive. And this is where Jake and I have seen one of the biggest catfish ever. I mean like ever, ever. So this right here is the pool where so many fish, gar, carp, uh, giant catfish as well. They all hang out right here. And it's right next to the main city. Look, there's a the guy kayaking right there. So right down here is where we're gonna put on the scuba tank, dive down and I don't think the fish are gonna let me like really get close and interact with them like they were in cut bait, but this place is gonna be completely full of fish. This is gonna blow your mind, I promise. some of the biggest fish I've ever seen right here. That is so crazy. All right guys, well, I just got out of the water and that is gonna pretty much wrap it up for today's video. I know it was a little bit different style than what I normally do. I did find some treasure along the way today. However, the main goal was just to go interact with some fish. I am trying to do daily uploads for you guys, so not every video can be some crazy, wild, epic adventure. However, doing stuff like this along the way is a lot of fun to share with you guys. It's stuff that I like to do in my spare time when I'm not filming on YouTube. So basically what I'm doing is just bringing along a camera with me and sharing it with you guys. Honestly, I had a blast. If you guys like this type of content, if you want me to go in more places and find more big fish and try to play with them, leave a big thumbs up on this video. And on a completely separate note, this is just something I want to share with you guys. It's on my mind a lot today. On this island right here is pretty much where I started my YouTube channel doing the River Treasure videos. I started coming out here with all Jake's hand-me-down gear and uh, between me, Jake, and Tristan, we've all been able to grow our channels and really see a lot of success on YouTube. So 
the fact that I used to stand on this island with an old wetsuit, and now I'm standing on it with my own merch, my own swim trunks. I used to be out here with a kayak that I paddled out here, and now I have my own jet ski to come out here. It just honestly kind of puts things in perspective, man. It's just been such a blessing to have all you guys support to allow us to live our dreams and come out here and do what we love to do and share it with you guys. So I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Um, it's something when I pulled up on the island, I was just like, man, like we've come a long way. So very, very special. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and that's going to pretty much wrap it up. As always, I'll catch you guys on the next adventure. Peace out. You and I till the end.